Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code 373, K pair with smallest sum. In this problem, we are given two arrays. One is A and one more is B. And let's find out all the pairs that can be generated with one element from A and one element from B. So all the pairs that can be generated is 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 6, then 7, 2, 7, 4, 7, 6, 11, 2, 11, 4, then 11, 6. But what do we have to find? We have to find the top three pairs that have the smallest sum. If you look here, these will be the top three pairs that will be having the smallest sum. So these three pairs, the entire three pairs, that is 1, 2, 1, 4 and 1, 6 has to be returned in our answer. So this will be our answer. If it was 4, for example, we should add 7, 2 also to this list. So uh, this is the problem statement. Let's dive into the first approach that comes to our mind. The first approach that comes to our mind is the brute force approach. That is, we'll be generating all the pairs just like we did here. So we will be generating all the pairs. Then in the pairs, we will sort them according to their sum. For example, if this sum was lesser than this, we will put it here and that will be in our answer. So the first thing is we will generate all the pairs that will actually take n square time or more precisely n star m time. Then what we will do, we will sort all the generated pairs. But remember, we have to keep track of the positions while sorting. So once we have sorted all the elements, what we will be doing is we will finally return the answer. But the time complexity is n cross m or the order of n square here. So that is not what the approach that we are looking. The next approach that comes to our mind is two pointer approach. For example, we will start with this elements i is equal to zero, j is equal to zero. Then the first sum is two and we will add one comma one to the answer. What is the next? We'll either increment i or increment j. Any one of them can be incremented or i in this case will be incremented. Why? Because this is 1 and this is 2. So i will become just 1. So if you look here, the next answer will also be equal to 1 comma 1. What is the next statement? We either have to increase i or we can increase j. So let's increase j in this case. So j will also become 1 i is also equal to 1. But if you look here, what did we miss? We miss this pair that is 1 comma 2. So using two pointers, we will be missing many pairs. So our two pointers approach will also not work here because once i has gone above this, we cannot decrement i and we will be losing the pairs. So this approach is also not going to solve the answer. The next thing that this leads to the problem that we are having here is we will iterate over the pairs or we will go above the pairs which actually have the answer. So that is the problem we are facing here that can actually be solved using a priority queue or also called as min heap. What we will be doing here is this min heap or priority queue will store all the data but it will store the minimum sum on top of it. That is whenever you want the minimum, it will give you the minimum in all of the numbers that are available. So what we can do here is the first thing that these both problems that had uh, that we had in two pointer approach and brute force approach that can be solved using this. What is that we have to keep track of? One is first thing is we have to keep track of all the sum. We'll be putting this sum into the priority queue. That is the first thing that we'll be doing. But if you look here, if we write the same statement here, we'll be adding this pair first, then we'll be adding this pair and also this pair. What we'll be saying here is in simple terms, you don't fight with each other now. You just both of them, you go to the priority queue and then I will pick you up. That is what we are doing here. That is we will send both of this to the priority queue and then we will be picking one among them and then we will pick the next i and j values for example here we picked one comma one so once we have picked one comma one that is the next element so what are the next options we have available one option is one two that is we, we increment j or we increment this 
the thing is we will not decide which element now what we will be deciding is we will put them both to the priority queue and only in the next stage we will be deciding who is the winner and we will pick that element so that is what we will be doing here but one more thing is there if you look here since i and j are both going forward they will both overlap in many cases that is once we have added one comma two to the list or one comma one to the list that is this pair to the list this pair can be added again to the list right so that problem in order to avoid that problem we will be using a hash set which will actually keep track of all the visited pair of i comma j that is suppose we visited this pair this pair should not be visited again so that is the idea of using a hash set and in even in this priority queue we have to keep track of this pair so it is not just priority queue of just an integer we have to keep track of an integer array where the first thing will be sum then i then j so this will be in the priority queue the first thing will be sum then i then j so let's do a dry run on this first thing we will have a priority queue and we will have a visited hash set this is our hash set what is the first pair that we have we have a sum of two then both i and j are zero so this is the only element that we have so we will pop this and to the hash set zero comma zero is already added then what are the two pairs that we can add one is either we can increment i and we can increment j we will add both of them what is the pair the next pair is one comma one whose sum is two and i will increase by one and j will increase by zero what is the next pair that we have that is one comma two again so the sum is three zero one and here one comma zero and zero comma one are both added now what do we do here is we will pick the the priority queue will give you the minimum sum that is we will do this and we will also keep track of our answer the first answer is one comma one one comma one was added what is the next answer the next answer is one comma one again that is also added to the answer then next after popping this up we have to add two more elements by incrementing that that is we added this pair what are the next available pair the next available pair is this two and this one what is the sum the sum is 3 i is equal to 2 j is equal to 0 what is the another pair that we have the other pair is this pair where the sum is 3 but both of them are equal to 1 so next we will pop this and we will keep on adding this elements and the answer will also be adding that is 1 comma 2 finally this gives the number of elements so we won't be the problem that we had initially was we are adding all the elements that is n cross m elements so in this case we are not adding all the elements we are adding just k elements into this so our time will get reduced in this the second problem that we had that in two pointer approach that is we are leaving out one of the i's that problem is also solved here because every pair gets added before the next sum is added into the priority queue so that problem is also uh, solved so one more thing that I want to mention here is there are few problems which are having the same pattern that is whatever we are using here that is using a priority queue these three problems uses the same approach. So if you want to discuss further on these three problems and I will also be sharing the code for these problems please do consider joining the telegram group where we will be discussing about these three problems and I will also be sharing the code for these three problems let's dive into the code for this problem the first thing is we are taking the length of these two arrays and we are initiating a priority queue the priority queue will not just be of integer it will be an array the first thing will be sum then i then j so these are the three things the priority queue contains but it will be sorted only based on the sum so that is what is mentioned here next thing is we are having a hash set just to keep track of all the visited things so we initiated a hash set then finally we have answer and this pair is not actually required here so then we keep track of i and j and we will be initially adding the first pair that is if you look here one one two and one two three we'll be adding the first pair to the priority queue and also we will be adding the position to the hash set so once this is done we will remove the topmost element from the priority queue and 
we will take both the i and j values and we will be adding it to our answer list after that in these statements what we are checking is we are just checking if both of them are not the last elements we will check the next elements that is say we have this option we will increment i in one case that is this case and we will increase j in the other case and we will be adding both the pairs to the priority queue and finally we will be returning the answer here we are doing k minus minus y because we just have to return only k pairs say we have three pairs we will be returning the top three pairs thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe